Lyme disease. It is so important to understand if you're at risk for Lyme disease and understand what the symptoms are because the symptoms of Lyme disease can often mimic the symptoms of other conditions. So we're going to break it down today exactly what kind of things put you at risk for getting Lyme disease, also what it is, uh, but what the symptoms are and how you can prevent it. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I'm a practicing family physician. I'm an on-air health expert and video creator. Um, let's just start right in, shall we? Okay. Uh, Lyme disease is a bacterial infection, by the way, in case you didn't know. It is a bacterial infection that is uh, usually acquired uh, from being bitten by an infected tick. That's right. Usually the tick is a black leg tick or a deer tick. Um, we usually find Lyme disease, most cases of Lyme disease in the United States or in the Northeast, kind of where I live. In fact, I just treated a patient for Lyme disease last week, the Mid-Atlantic region, Upper Midwest, and Pacific Coast in Northern California. But these are the signs and symptoms early signs of Lyme disease. That means after three to 30 days of having been uh, bitten by an infected tick, uh, the symptoms include uh, what the classic sort of bullseye or target rash called erythema migrans. It's circular and it kind of literally looks like a bullseye. It doesn't always look exactly like that, but you should be suspicious if you see something like this. Warm, it tends to be, um, and uh, it can be relatively large. Also, uh, some people have fevers or chills, headache, fatigue. Again, you see those are kind of non-specific what that means is that could be a lot of different things that's what makes this confusing sometimes sometimes also people get muscle aches and pains and swollen lymph nodes as well can happen now the thing about Lyme disease is that if it's not treated it can get bad in fact I've had patients with what we call complications of Lyme disease before so if it's not treated um, symptoms can kind of uh, de develop even further. They can kind of spread. It can spread to the heart, to the joints, to the central nervous system. That's the brain or the spinal cord. Um, in fact, I had a, a patient with um, uh, a heart condition that was caused by Lyme disease. That can actually happen if you develop Lyme disease, you don't know it and you don't get treated for it. So some of the symptoms of people with sort of um, further stage Lyme disease or Lyme disease that may have traveled to other parts of the body or have gone on too long is a headache or neck stiffness, um, weakness in the facial muscles, um, arthritis. Um, I've actually had patients with Lyme arthritis, Lyme in the joints, um, pain that sort of comes and goes that still kind of continues heart palpitations or an irregular heart rate, dizziness, um, an inflamed spinal cord or um, sort of brain and spinal cord area, and numbness and tingling. Now, that's not all the symptoms, but you kind of get my point, which is that symptoms can continue on and things can further if Lyme disease is not um, uh, treated. Now, the good news is, guys, Lyme disease is very treatable. You treat it with antibiotics. Even when Lyme has progressed, we have treatments, antibiotic treatments for those too. Usually it's um, just a sort of different, longer, different type of treatment, might be IV, etc. But that's the good news. And I think probably one of the most important things here is the take home, which is in addition to the symptoms, you should know how to prevent it, guys. If you live in wooded areas with ticks and things like that, you especially have to be very careful. If you go on hikes, if you're in wooded areas and things like that, you have got to be um, aware and on the lookout. Some things you can do, first of all, if you're going hiking or things like that, walk in the center of the trail, kind of, and, and trying to avoid brush and stuff like that as much as possible. Try to stay in the center. Um, obviously, avoid certain areas if you know that there's lots of ticks, okay? That's important. Um, you need to wear appropriate bug spray. This is really important. You want the active, in de uh, excuse me, the active ingredient called DEET, D-E-E-T. You'll find that uh, over the counter on the shelf in your local drugstore, what have you. You want to use bug spray when you are going out. You can also treat your clothing with something called permethrin, okay, that helps um, as a repellent as well. Um, the other thing is you should wear light colored clothing because that will help you identify ticks, right? You'll be able to see them more clearly if you're wearing something light colored. Um, you know, make sure that you're wearing long sleeves and long pants when possible because that will help protect your skin. And then you also want to check your body when you get inside. Not just check yourself, but check your kids, check your pets. Um, you want to do that. And then uh, when you take off your clothes, this is super important. You want to wash and dry your clothes, but wash them and dry them at high temperatures. That is 
going to be super, super, super important. Guys, um, those are a few tips to uh, hopefully help you as you um, are out and about. Uh, make sure you are on the lookout for Lyme disease. I will, um, I will do another video on how to remove a tick properly because that's very important as well. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Um, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. Um, let's see here. Oh, I do daily videos, by the way. Please share this video with other people. Please stay safe. Um, I will be back with more soon.